If you have inflammatory bowel disease and are thinking of having kids, let's discuss the safety of treatments for IBD during pregnancy. Training and working at a high volume OB center, I saw many women with inflammatory bowel disease and they had well controlled disease for years before becoming pregnant. But now that they were pregnant, they're very concerned about the impact these medications could have on the health of their baby. By and large, most of the medications are safe and the absence of treatment of inflammatory bowel disease during your pregnancy risks a flare. And that comes with consequences such as preterm labor, a more complicated labor, or a baby with a low birth weight. The big exception to that is methotrexate, which is dangerous to take during pregnancy because it can cause abortion and severe birth defects. Therefore, this is a medication that has to be stopped during pregnancy. Medications such as ezathioprine and some of its cousins like 6 mercaptopurine can cause a low birth weight, but they're not associated with congenital anomalies. And so while that may sound like a risk, we have to bear in mind that stopping these medications could cause a flare, which carries its own risk. So in the balance of that, it usually makes sense to continue these medications when they're providing good control of inflammatory bowel disease. Sulfazalazine and similar medications are common first-line therapies for ulcerative colitis. And these can be continued safely during pregnancy so long as the mother is taking two milligrams of folate daily. And this is higher than the standard dose and it may not be the dose used in the common multivitamins that a woman can take for prenatal care. So it's important to note that it has to be two milligrams of folate so that that level doesn't get depleted. In the past, mesalamine was coated with a chemical that was a concern for causing an injury to your growing baby. But this compound is no longer used and so mesalamine can be safely continued during pregnancy. The class of medications called biologic therapies should generally be continued because stopping them risk relapse and a relapse has a lot more risks to the health of the mother and her baby than these medications do. So we encourage that we continue biologic therapy. The important thing to do is to let the baby's pediatrician know that you receive these medications during your pregnancy because your baby should not have live vaccines for the first nine months after exposure to these therapies but they still can receive most of the vaccines that a baby typically receives, and they're expected to have very good, strong responses to those vaccines. Simply let your pediatrician know your baby shouldn't receive a live vaccine until the series of around one year of life. By that point, there should be ample time that they have no longer been exposed to the biologic therapy. There are some relatively new medications for treating inflammatory bowel disease that are available in pills that target the immune system. These medications are simply too new to give confident advice about how they should be used during pregnancy. Zeljans or Tocitinib has shown some safety data that does raise concerns for causing problems with the baby. But we really overall don't know well enough. And for women who have only been able to have successful control with these agents, I think it's prudent that they talk to their GI doctor and to their OB doctor and make a decision together about the risk and benefits of continuing these agents. If you're on these medications to help maintain your inflammatory bowel disease, I hope you found this information helpful. I've suggested that one of the biggest risks of inflammatory bowel disease is to have a flare during pregnancy. And in a separate video, we'll discuss how that is managed in the context of pregnancy and some of the medications that are specific to managing a flare and the choices that should be made respecting the pregnancy. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this information helpful. Thank you for your time and be safe.